banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome back to part two of the Skylanders Swap Force review. What makes Swap Force my favorite Skylanders game to date? Well, a bunch of things, really. First of all, the playability. You can jump, you can frequently spin, the movement seems smoother, and the level designs are excellent. So it's just a fun game to pick up and play, but still challenging when it needs to be, especially when you set the difficulty to hard or nightmare. It's pretty obvious that Skylanders Swap Force borrows a lot of elements from other games out there like Ratchet and Clank, Spyro, even God of War. But it also borrows from itself. Vicarious Visions, the developer of this game, did the 3DS version of Skylanders Spyro's Adventure, which was a lot of fun and played very much like this. They also did the iOS version of Skylanders Cloud Patrol, and there's some mini games in here which play a lot like that. Check back each day for some daily specials. How about 10% more experience? That's right, it's time to concentrate on leveling up your favorite Skylander. The level designs themselves are bright and colorful and filled with secret places to explore and find treasure and other things that increase your Portal Master rank. And then of course we get the Swap Force themselves. Like I said in part one, it doesn't feel like a gimmick to me. It's actually quite clever and enhances what already makes Skylanders fun. The characters and all of their moves, now you can combine them and create like all new Skylanders. And there's additional challenges laying around depending on what kind of base you have on that particular Skylander, which are like little racing games. Why? It's as if they designed the game to be fun and succeeded. Puzzles return, as do arena battles, and we get survival modes for one or two player. You can also play one or two player co-op during the actual campaign. So it's a fun game to play with your friends or your kids. And I know what the common complaint about Skylanders is, that it's expensive. And it is. It's a collector's game, a kid's game for those of you with disposable income. And only a few companies like Activision could pull this off, but I'll give them credit, you get a lot of value after you've bought your figures because they should work for years. I mean, I'm still using the original toys I got with the first game. Twists of fury. They save their character data, they level up, and if you keep the codes, you can play them in the online games that come out. No shame, no gain! <laughs> And kids love these things. They're bright, they're colorful, and I think they're actually well-built and nicely detailed. While Skylanders is obviously aimed at a younger audience, it's not so stupid and juvenile that it can't be enjoyed by adults and the entire family playing together. It's a fun action game. If you're just getting into games, or if they're just getting into games, the little ones, the easy settings are a good place to start. For the serious enthusiasts, bump up the difficulty to nightmare and try to collect everything and earn every star. That's actually really hard. Free Ranger wins. Served. Sunny side up. So there you have it, Skylanders Swap Force, the best Skylanders yet, and I've had a lot of requests to bring back the Skylanders figures review. So I'll see you back here in the review of. Light Core Star Strike, followed by Free Ranger and then some of the Giants. See you then. Shoot for the stars. <laughs> <laughs>